I enjoy writing and I've written for a lot of things, but I'd never written for film before and it sounded fun. Matt came over to my house and showed me some things he'd put together for the first few minutes of this documentary and we talked for quite a while as I recall. And frankly, the first question in my mind is, are these guys just dabblers or are they good? Do I really want to write for them? Do I really want my name on their work? And uh, I was fairly well satisfied after that first meeting that uh, the answer was yes. I was dealing with talented professionals. My two favorite parts of the whole experience uh, of making the documentary were first, working with these amazing kids. And we still get to do that sometimes. We show a piece of it or we go to band camp and show the whole movie. They're, they're spectacular. Uh, that was one of them. The other one was working with a couple of filmmakers who are professional and intelligent and they're artists. I mean, I'd get back a piece of video, what do you think? And I would routinely just be amazed at how it had turned into art. I very quickly learned to trust their creative instincts. Without that level of trust and professionalism, there would be no Champions of the West right now. They will do what it takes, not just to finish the project, but to get it right. I've worked with editors, I've worked as an editor with writers, I've worked with advertisers and graphic designers and any number of people in a, in a sort of creative professional role and it never gets easier or smoother than when I'm working with Matt and Russ. It just wasn't an ego thing. Tell the story, let the story tell itself to a degree. Here's why I would recommend Cinema Effects to anybody who needed video work done. They are professional, they are very skilled technically, but it's not just a matter of technical skills, they're, they're artists and they have good instincts. And you combine all that with the fact that they're easy to work with, they're communicative, they're fun to work with, and uh, they don't like to leave a project until it's right. And uh, that's a hard combination to beat.